Hey, Summit, this is Edward. You know this guy, Jake. This is your weekly update, and so make sure you share this on all your platforms. Jake, what what have you got today? Because I got something. Y'all hang on to the end. I know sometimes y'all just listen to the beginning and, and then kind of fade off. Stay tuned to the end. So what do you got this week? So we got membership this Sunday. A lot of you have been asking. I've been sending out emails to all of you guys. I'll send out some more emails today. Immediately after the service, we'll have membership in room A101 in the back hallway. You're going to learn our strategy, our statements, and our structure as a church. You're going to find out why we do what we do, all the ministries that we have, and what makes Summit Heights go. So, man, we're excited to have you. We've been having some really big classes, a lot of people checking us out. Even if you're not ready to be a member yet, it would still be good for you to just kind of find out who we are and what we do and why we do what we do. That's good. That's good. Also, a week from Sunday, we have baby dedication. Uh, also doing a couple of baptisms on that day, and so we're real excited about that. And so if you have a baby uh, that you want to dedicate... We're not baptizing the babies. No, 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 no. Um, Thanks for that clarification. Yeah. That was uh, that kind of yeah. babies be, will be a dedicated parents yeah. are dedicating their child to the and Lord. And then we'll have a separate couple. Then of we'll baptisms. have a couple of teenagers that are so, being. So baptized. here's the deal: if you have a child that you want to be uh, have dedicated, get in touch with Kristen, our preschool pastor, uh, and she can give you all the details about that and uh, get you on the list for that Sunday. And also, if you're interested in being obedient and following uh, Christ in baptism. Uh, we would love to visit with you about that. You can get on Jake, myself, Ashley, Kristen, David. David. Uh, just have that conversation. We would love. Wouldn't that be a cool Sunday, man? Just dedicating children. and. Uh, if, we, if we had a lot of baby dedications and we had a lot of baptisms, that would cut into Edward's preaching time, and that's a good thing for everybody. Uh, uh, also, on April the 10th, that's a Sunday, we're going to be doing a barbecue car show fundraiser for our student ministry. Really going to be a cool day uh, with all the bikes and cars and all, barbecue. all that stuff. The barbecue. I think Kona Ice is going to be yeah. there. I think there's a lot going on that day. And so just plan on April the 10th to stay after church. Uh, you can eat lunch. You can go look at some really cool cars. You, I mean, it's just going to be a cool Sunday uh, for our community. In fact, that'd be a great Sunday to invite someone to Summit Heights. Uh, to just invite them for the car show. You're going to buy them lunch because lunch is going to be served sort of barbecue. You know, right. You're right. not really buying uh, anything. Uh, well, yeah, you are because it's a it's a fundraiser. But right. it'd well, be a great Sunday yeah. to reach out because for that guy that loves cars or that girl that loves, you know, that... Just, it's a great relationship, invest and invite uh, situation, so uh, it's going to be a cool Sunday. What else you got, Doug? First impressions. I'm rebuilding first impressions teams. We're going to have some training around that in, in the coming months, and I need some more volunteers. Uh, when you sign up for first impressions, you're, you're making a commitment for one week a month, and it's the same Sunday every month, so first Sunday of the month, second Sunday of the month, et cetera, et cetera. And so I desperately need some more first impressions volunteers, so please reach out to me, jake at summitheightsfellowship.com, or fill out a communication card on Sunday. No, that's good. That's good. Uh, a great place for you to kind of jump in to volunteering awesome. and serving if you're new to Summit and you just kind of want to get to know people. That's a great way uh, for you to get involved. Uh, got anything else today nope. before we uh, kind of shift? I know a lot of you guys listen to this, uh, and you only many of you listen don't. to this. Uh, most of you hear Jake on Sunday morning as he gives an offering talk and uh, kind of connects the dots to what's going on. Uh, we also send out with this video, you may not be aware because you may only click on the video. You it's may a, not click on little, the other link. It's a little PDF. It's a little And it's a in bulletin. that PDF, it covers not only kind of what we talk about, it covers some other stuff, but they also at the bottom of that, it kind of gives a picture of where we are financially. Year to date. Uh, year to date, weekly of what's giving. And the reason I bring that up is, is because your giving, your faithfulness, uh, has allowed us at Summit Heights to do so much in this community. In fact, we ask the question on a regular basis, what would go undone in this community if Summit Heights did not exist? Because of your giving, we would leave a gap in this community. And I'm, I, I'm so proud of you because you continue to give faithfully. Now, with that said, on the bottom of that sheet, it shows where we are financially. And up to this point, 12 weeks into the year, we are 
below budget. A little behind. Uh, a little, little bit behind. And so I just want to make you aware of that. We also are very, very much aware. And this is where, again, don't click away here. We're very aware of what's going on in our country. We're very aware of what's going on with inflation, yes. uh, gas prices, uh, what it's costing us to live. And so uh, we're aware of that. Uh, we're also aware that that creates more ministry as well uh, at the church. And so uh, just be faithful in your giving because your giving allows us to continue to do ministry in this community. We're also painfully aware of what's going on in the world, and that affects everything that happens. But listen to me. God is still on the throne. This is not taking him by surprise. He didn't wake up 12 weeks ago and go, gas prices are going. What? He, he is on the throne. He's always. And just like we talked during the pandemic, this is not new. This is all part of us walking with God and trusting him and trusting him not only with our physical, but our resources and spiritual and emotional. So uh, I just want to encourage you, be faithful in your giving because right now uh, we're watching that. We're watching what's going on. We want to continue to do the ministry that God's called us to do uh, in this community. And that, that does cost money. So uh, we love you. Continue to be faithful in giving. You can give three ways. You can give online. You can text to give. Uh, you can go uh, give on Sunday mornings in an envelope. And either way, uh, any of those ways, we'll be grateful for your um, gift in that. You got anything else this morning? I don't. Hey, we love you, Summit. Cannot wait to see you Sunday. You've been great crowds even this past Sunday. I can't Sunday. wait to be there Sunday. Uh, yeah, you haven't been here in a month. So um, it, it's it's it was incredible last Sunday for the Sunday following spring break. So hopefully going to have a packed house this week. Going to see life change. We love you. Invite somebody to come with you this week. Have a great week. This is your weekly update shared on all your platforms.